Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, I'll be discussing about uh, 100 plus uh, software testing interview questions in this video in detail and also I'll be explaining with examples how to answer these interview questions as well. So let us first discuss about uh, what is uh, functional testing. This is the first uh, interview question. Functional testing is nothing but here we are mainly focusing on uh, testing the application functionalities as per the the requirements or user stories we have. That is a key thing here. We are more fo focusing on the functional side of the application. If you take an example, in any application per se, the login is a basic functionality we have that we will have to test the basic main functionality by providing a valid credential username or password to ensure that function really works. That your login functionality is a functional aspect of that user story. So that is how you should explain what is all about a functional testing. And the next question is what is a boundary testing? What is a boundary testing? The boundary testing is nothing but here this is a technique normally we use. The boundary testing is a testing technique we normally use where we are going to test the boundary limits by providing various uh, boundaries or limits of input values for a given test case or to test a given functionality. If you take an example for a boundary testing, what kind of inputs we can provide? Let's say for a given uh, field, which can take a value anywhere from 1 to 100. If it can, if it can take anywhere the value from 1 to 100, now we will have to see minimum what it can take and maximum what it can take. Now, we have to go behind that, not just 1 to 100, we should also talk about what if, if I give a negative value there or what if, if I give more than 100, whether it really accepts or not. That kind of testing also we should do, that we do as part of this boundary testing which is a special uh, testing technique which we normally use. And the next type of testing is a usability testing. The usability testing here we are more focusing on the usability perspective, user friendly perspective. That is where uh, we are going to test the application by keeping those in mind especially on the navigation perspective, overall user experience perspective we will be testing the overall application to test that kind of testing we call it as a usability testing. Now if you take an example, we have a mobility application, now we will have to test the usability perspective means where we are going to test by validating all the navigations of different screens and uh, we will be performing various activities uh, to navigate on the UI perspective and user experience perspective and we will be logging the defects appropriately. This kind of testing we can normally call it as a usability testing. And the next type of testing is a performance testing. Normally, the performance testing is a more of a non-functional testing. Earlier we talked about functional testing. This is more of a non-functional testing where our goal is to check uh, if I put a load or a stress on the application for a certain time. Let's say if I put a load for uh, two days or three days or one week or all of a sudden if I put a load on one day where I give a lot of uh, offers, let's say Amazon big billion day. So, I'll be doing uh, certain uh, offers in a particular day. Now, everyone will start buying a mobile phone. So, everybody will start uh, buying certain things. Now, we'll have to see whether your uh, Amazon portal or Flipkart portal can really, it takes that kind of load. That kind of testing we normally do by using this performance testing where we'll be more of uh, measuring uh, the responsiveness of the application by putting a parameter response time, scalability perspective will be testing it and also resource utilization especially when more people are going to access your application, your uh, computer resources or server resources will go down. We will also validating when more users are accessing your application, we will see how your application is really behaving. That is also we are going to check as part of this performance testing. If you take an example, we just talked about certain example, but I am going to give certain more things here. The stress testing for a given website. If you wanted to do a stress testing by simulating various thousands of user, uh, concurrent users accessing a particular website 
and we will be testing uh, with the eye traffic situations and we will be trying to see how your application really behaves when we are trying to put uh, so much uh, loads in the application and the next one is what is smoke testing the smoke testing is a kind of a another type of testing normally which we use uh, to test the core functionality the smoke testing which are nothing but where we are going to test a critical functionality of an application let's say for banking application critical functionality is accessing the savings account or business account where current account functionality should work those are the core basic functionality so in smoke testing also we will be testing a basic uh, minimum functionalities of the entire application to ensure at least basic minimum functionalities are really working if those critical functions basic functions it, that is really working means we can take that build or an application to test further testing in order to do that we will be doing a smoke testing if you take an example i have given an example here as well why we do smoke testing in the e-commerce application here yeah, the core part of e-commerce application is uh, where i will be picking the item i will be adding to the shopping cart and i will be doing checkout and i will make a payment that is a core aspect of an e-commerce application now when you wanted to take up that kind of functionality we will be doing initially some smoke testing whether the core functionality or basic functionalities are really working or not so in smoke testing we will be doing that kind of uh, testing where we will be focusing on the basic minimum things uh, to ensure that uh, we can take the testing to the next level now we will see what is integration testing the integration testing again it is another form of testing where we are going to test whether if two modules are there I have completed testing of this model and I have completed testing of this model. I wanted to test now if I am going to integrate these two modules. I wanted to see whether these two modules are going to work together when both components or both models come together whether that time the overall functionality really works or not also we are going to test as part of this integration testing. Now when we are going to integrate and we test if everything is working fine then we will call it that type of testing integration testing is passed otherwise we will make those test cases as part of integration aspect we we'll make it as a fail. If you take an example where we are going to test an integration part from front end and back end. So now we will have to see whether whatever I entered in the front end let's say if I entered in the UI whether all the information which I entered in the UI has gone to the back end that is the integration aspect we wanted to test to see whether I entered the data in the front end whether it has gone to the back end and uh, it has a smooth transition or smooth data transfer is also happened that we are going to check it in the back end, uh, back end and that kind of validation we call it as a integration testing. Now we will move on to the next type of intro question is what is a security testing. The security testing normally we will be checking more on the vulnerability or weakness of an application to see because of these vulnerabilities or because of the weakness in the application if somebody can uh, hack that application or somebody can break that application also we can check by validating all those vulnerabilities and weaknesses in the software systems. Normally as part of security testing we are not just going to do testing on the vulnerability we are also going to test uh, more of uh, authentication, authorization, data encryptions, protection uh, against hacking. So these are the certain things which we normally do as part of the security testing aspects. If you take an example we have a banking application where uh, we are trying to log into the application with a normal uh, uh, user authentication or uh, user authorization. Now if I cut down, if I cut down uh, those things and if I can access the application very easily then I uh, succeeded in uh, breaking that application. That is why we are going to test uh, whether application is whether it is vulnerable or not vulnerable for all these uh, different uh, security challenges 
that we are going to test as part of this security testing. Next question is what is user acceptance testing? What is user acceptance testing? Yeah, normally this user testing will be performed by the end user, not by not the ordinary tester. Normally the end user or customer, they are going to validate the overall application before they accept the product or an application. They will be writing the test cases, they will be deploying it and they will be testing and they will be testing all these business requirements, class verification, everything they do. If everything works fine, then only they will sign up the UAT phase. Then only we will be releasing that product to the customer. Unless UAT is not succeeded, we are not going to ship the product. That's why the UAT is very critical. We have to ensure UAT cases are really passing or they are meeting the quality criteria whenever we are completed uh, user acceptance test testing. If you take an example, real users test a mobile app and they provide a feedback on usability, functionality and overall satisfaction, then only we can sign up the user acceptance testing.